Windows or macOS? Which one is the best? In order to find out, I will compare simple features between these two operating systems. Starting with file management. In Windows 11 you have the file explorer, which you open up by clicking this icon right here in the taskbar. Another way to open it would be to use the Windows key plus E and it opens up the file explorer. On macOS you have Finder, which you can of course open from the dock. Alternatively, you can use the keyboard shortcut Command N and it will open up the Finder. But for this shortcut to work, you have to make sure that Finder is selected. If you have something else, for example system settings, and you click on Command N, it doesn't do anything. You have to always have Finder selected. The next thing I want to look at is the design. Right away the Windows 11 file explorer, we can see that it has a lot of options and it's quite cluttered. You can search for something, you can navigate the file system, you have a bunch of buttons for different actions, you have this quick access tab, you have this tab and a bunch more stuff. But how about the macOS finders design? This one is a lot simpler. There's a share button, there's tags, which is a unique macOS feature Windows doesn't have this and there's also the contextual menu and you can open up the search bar right here and search for all of your files. So everything is kind of like split in its own place. It's a lot more simpler and a lot more polished. Next thing I have already seen some people point out and that is some file management shortcuts that Windows has. So on Windows if you want to move a file you can do control X and go to some other directory and do control V to move the file. It's as simple as that. On macOS, if you want to move a file, you have to do command C and then we go to another directory and we have to do a really complex shortcut. It's like command option V. It's three keys instead of two. It's not necessarily something worse, it's just different from Windows. Another difference that Windows has that macOS does differently is, for example, in Windows you can go to this top bar right here and just type something like C drive Windows system 32 to my favorite folder. And you can just type stuff right here and navigate around pretty easily. But on macOS, this is different. If you want to open a specific directory, then it's a bit more complicated. You have to go up to the top menu panel, click on go and go to folder. And then this little menu opens up here and then you just type users, data stream, documents. You type the folders directory pretty much almost identical to Windows, but it just takes like a few extra steps to get there. So that's another thing that macOS does differently. Then we have to check out bulk renaming. How does each system handle having to rename multiple files at once? Now I have a bunch of files and in order to bulk rename all of them, I can just drag like this, select all of them and then just click on rename. And let's just name them something. And there you can see instantly all of our files have been renamed. I even use the same name for all of them and it just adds like numbers after the name. On macOS this feature is very different and probably not for the better. I have three files, let's duplicate all of them and I want to rename them. So let's select all of them and click on rename. And immediately it opens up this little menu for renaming finder items. This one takes a few extra brain cells to even understand what are you supposed to do. There's like a bunch of options. Do you want to format it, add text, replace text? Which one is for mass renaming? Can I just replace it like this? I don't know. Do I have to write each name individually and then it just replaced all of the names that only had App Store in it. It did not replace these ones. So I'm not even sure how do I rename all of them at once. So macOS kind of fails this one. I don't know. And then another thing I like that Windows does a bit better than macOS is if you right click on any kind of file, you have this property section. And here you can find all sorts of information and all sorts of options about files that you can change. On macOS, however, it's once again very different. Let's right click on it. And instead of properties, you have get info. And then this sort of window opens up. And you can see that there's so much less options than you had on Windows. But next, I would like to check out the taskbar on Windows versus the dock on macOS. And the biggest difference is that Windows has everything in one place. You have your time and date here, you have a bunch of buttons you can place, you have your taskbar icons, then you can put some widgets here, and you of course have a start menu, which is of course what macOS doesn't have. You can search for stuff here, you have a copilot as well, that's probably a negative. You can access all of your programs from here, all of your files, everything is just very convenient in one place, 
and yeah. On macOS, you have stuff in various places. You have your dock here, which you use to access all of your programs. Then you have your date and time here. You have a control center. You have a search function right here, and then a bunch more stuff. macOS is just very split. The top menu and the dock would be equivalent to the taskbar. Spotlight would be equivalent to the Windows search function. And at the same time, Spotlight is also just the entire start menu, because you also use it to access all of your icons. And let's also check out customization options for each. In order to customize the Windows taskbar, you right click on it and select taskbar settings. Here we have a bunch of options, like we can enable the search bar, then you also have task view, then you have widgets, god, turn them off, system tray icons, you can also add these ones. Also one big thing that you can do, you can align your taskbar to be on the left, and you can of course automatically hide the taskbar. So that's roughly the Windows taskbar customization. The first thing you notice that the macOS dock is there is this magnification effect. And then also if you minimize applications, then they kind of get sucked into the dock. You can also customize that and have the scale effect instead. Then you can turn hiding on. Then we can also turn magnification off. And there's also a position on the screen. Here you can set the dock to be on the left, on the right, or at the bottom, which is something that Windows doesn't have by default. And you can also adjust the size either by this slider, or you can grab it and just drag it up or down. Minimize Windows into application window. Yeah, so by default, applications minimize on the dock, but you can also make them to minimize into the application icon. So sort of like it is on Windows by default. And that's the macOS dock's customization. And then one more major difference I really want to look at is the search feature. Like we already saw, they are very different. But to access search from Windows, you just click on the start menu and there you have the search bar. You can pretty much just search for the Microsoft Store. I don't know why we just search for that, but okay. Functionality wise, I think it's pretty great. It finds everything you, you are looking for. But what I don't like is the fact that it's searching some stuff that I don't want it to search. Like I don't need these results. I don't want the web results. I can't exactly find where can you turn this stuff off. But anyway, there are a few problems. First of all, there's the ads. Everyone hates ads. Yeah, there's just ads, some kind of trending searches, games for you. I don't want all of this. And the elephant in the room, which is Copilot. The big thing about Copilot that I don't really like is that if you click on it, it will open up in a separate application. I think it would be a lot better if it was like integrated at least into the user experience. Like if you just click on it and then then a separate window right here opens up. On macOS, search is different. You either open up with this button right here in the top menu panel, or you just press on command space, and it will open up this spotlight search menu. You can access all of your applications, all of your files, and you can also search for stuff. It gives you the application which you searched for, some kind of tips, and then some actions from that application. Also the dictionary, finder, and web. There was also that one one trick that you used to be able to do, it was kind of application. Yeah, and now it only shows me all of the applications on macOS. Spotlight works super great out of the box. Overall, both of these operating systems come pretty close. They both have their strengths and their shortcomings, but I personally lean more towards macOS. Get to the chopper.